Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, and it looks like I'm on a raid. But actually, this is a video about farming leather. That's right, I found a location where there's boars inside of a bandit camp. So you can attack the camp with your raiding crew, which is an awesome change of pace if you've been raiding boars or bears in the forest or farming iron on cliffs. You can farm some leather in a military outpost right here. So this is the first room where there are boars in cages. Let me go open the first cage. Now if Eivor kills the boar, I have the auto loot skill. That's a skill in the raven skill tree. So if I kill a boar with melee, I'll automatically loot. However, if one of someone on my raiding crew happens to kill the boar, I have to remember to go over and loot it. Not all the cages will have boar in them. This one does not. So this is the first room to check for boars. And then this is the second room right here. There's usually only one in this room, in this cage right here. Oh, it's not there. Sometimes they're in the cages, sometimes they're wandering around. Oh, there it is. There it is, so I have to... Oh, let me just kill this enemy. This is the only tough enemy in the fort. The one with the torch. And I love the heavy finisher here, where I put the torch in his face. <laughs> it's too bad you can't pick up that torch and throw it at an enemy using battleground boat. I've tried it, but you can't seem to pick up that torch. Anyway. What I was saying is if your raiding crew kills the boar, you have to make sure you loot it to get the leather. It's about 50 leather per animal here. And there's often some other cages in this room. So I'm gonna loot those guys. And then there's another one in the far corner of this room. There we go. And then the next room to go into is this one. This is the room where that enemy with the torch will be if he hasn't come out yet. Oh, and that's my Yom's Viking with the Scaldi's blade weapon, secret weapon. There was a screenshot of this Yom's Viking, my Yom's Viking in one of Jor Raptor's videos. So if you've seen, I'll put it in a link to the description below. He actually used a screenshot from my video and his video of that awesome Yom's Viking that I recruited who has some secret weapon. So in this room, there's a bunch of different cages. I'm just, and it's so fun to be able to have help killing these boars, to have my Yamza Vikings help me take down these boars instead of being all alone in the forest, having to fight them all by myself. So this is a really cool change of pace, I think. And it's pretty lucrative, each one of these animals is worth 48 leather. And so the final room, well, it's not really a room, it's outside in the courtyard here. There's two areas in the courtyard where you can find the boars. Too bad you can't air assassinate animals. Again, I've tried, you can't, I can't figure out how to kill them from here. You have to jump down and get them. So there's usually one or two boars in this area and then another two in the adjacent courtyard. And there doesn't seem to be many enemies outside. Most of the enemies are inside the building. So once you get outside here, you should have a clear path to get the leather. And here are the final two boars. And if it's your first time, coming to this camp or raiding this camp, there are supplies and other valuable items that you can get here. But since I've already collected them, I'm just gonna leave now that I've gotten all the boars. And I've docked my longship right outside, as you could see at the beginning. Best not to draw attention here. And I'm gonna leave my longship there so I can fast travel back to it. Because in order to get the boars to respawn, I have to fast travel to a different region 
save and reload my game, and then fast travel back to my launch ship. So on the map, you can see exactly where I am. This is the Lollenstone Bandit Camp in Sent. The closest dock is in London. So I sailed my launch ship here from London. But if you haven't unlocked London yet, you can just come from your settlement in Ravensthorpe. Although this is a power 130 area, so if you're too low level, it might be hard to get through the enemies. But at least you have your raiding crew to help you. So now I'm just fast traveling to a high point in Essex. Nothing really special about this high point, but I recommend traveling outside of Scent. And then saving and reloading your game. To do the quick save, you just do down on the D-pad and then X button on Xbox. And then reload the save you just made. I find this makes the animals respawn. So as I mentioned, the skill that's really useful to have here is the auto loot skill. So you automatically loot the leather after you kill the enemy. Another skill that can be useful in these types of situations is the chain assassination. I actually just made a video showing chain assassination and stealth kills. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description to my Assassin's Creed playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So now we are back to where we started. And I'm just going to go solo here. I'm not going to start a raid because I just want to show you that the boars did respawn and that you can basically keep farming this over and over. So there with Odin sight, you can see the enemies in red. So the enemies have respawned. And let's just check that the boars have respawned as well. This area is off limits. And again, you're noticing I'm able to sneak past all these enemies by going in the water there and then coming through here. Although the enemies in this room to my left here, you'll have to kill. Actually, I can sneak up on them. Sometimes I use Throwing Axe Fury, but sometimes I do the chain assassination right here if their backs are to me. But the point here is that both the enemies and the animals in the cages have respawned as we expected. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.